here today I'm doing a commission. Um, a client wanted this, <clears throat> but on a bigger scale. So she wanted it on a 14 incher and I added <clears throat> a few more colors to make it because you know, I don't like doing something twice. So I'm adding a little more zhuzh to it. I've already been painting today. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start with TLP ore. Then I'm gonna go golden magenta. Then I have golden teal. And then I have TLP constellation. And I'm gonna put um, Amsterdam permanent blue violet on top. And then I'm gonna go TLP twinkle, which is a blue violet interference. And then um, phthalo turquoise and a white cell activator. So it's gonna be pretty simple, nothing that exciting, um, but I thought I would just take you along with me while we try to do a little commish. All right, stick around. Okay, I decided, because she wants full color, to use my hair dryer. This is my babyless, babyless Conair. I like it, you know, there's things. Okay, so, also, I'm gonna use this purple pillow only because that's what I have going. And I figured if something blows up, it might be nice to see some purple. This is Sherwin-Williams Majestic Purple. It dries darker than it looks right now. But again, we are not gonna see it really because we're doing full coverage. Okay. So, let's see how we're doing. Yep, yep, yep. Spin it out. I should have mixed it a little bit, eh? That's okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Why not, right? So, because um, she wants full coverage, no negative space, I will put a bit more... Um, paint down should be good. because you know it'll be easier with the hair dryer I haven't used the hair dryer in so long okay we're just gonna go in with that color are you ready we have a TLP ore I'm gonna make big puddles I love this ore big puddles okay Then I will do some magents. We'll sprinkle her on. Okay. Then I will do some of teal. I'm not gonna do too much of the teal. Oh, and it's thickened up. See, look at how thick it got just sitting here. What I am gonna do is give her a little squeeze of Josonia. Um, because as you know, even though I just did that measuring video for you guys, it shows you that you can measure all you want, but you always have to be aware of what happens to your paint. Okay. Much more manageable, you know, funsy onesie. Okay. Now we will go, we're a little lopsided here, Constellation. That's French <laughs> for constellation, which I love. I haven't used it in so long. This used to be my favorite color. Okay. Constellazione. I'm really getting the, a lot of color here. Oh, shoot. We almost had a little spilling, but we didn't. Okay. This might look pretty cool. Okay, so we have the purple. Little stir stick here. Hold, please. There we go. No. <laughs> okay, I got one. Um, this is the permanent blue violet. A little squiggly, squiggly. I don't mind getting really messy when I go. Not like I'm not messy before, but like placing my paints messily when I go big. Okay. And Twinkle, which I cannot get enough of. 
I'm not gonna bother getting a stick. I'll just pour her around like that. Okay. And finally, the little turquoise. I am gonna use a stick because I do want to move this around. I don't want to like have it too concentrated in one spot because it really does take over. Oh. Mm, yeah, I need to thicken her a bit. I mean, thin her a bit. Hold on. A little bloop of Joe Sonia. And then I'm curious to see what this will look like. Are you ready? Drizzle, drizzle, isle. Oops. <laughs> drizzle, drizzle, isle. In the middle. Okay. Are you ready? This is a lot, well, you know, it's a good amount of paint, but we know at least we're definitely getting coverage, you know? All right, let's get that cell activator. Cell activate, I'm just gonna sing it. I think it's on for you guys. I know you guys love my singing. Okay, how are we looking here? Mixy mix. It's a little thin actually. Hmm. Yeah, it's a, t you know what? Mm. It needs like, does it? It needs like a little bit more paint. That's how I would thicken it up. Just like a touch, because I really want it to, um, you know, stand up and not sink. So I'm just gonna do a little bloop in there. I prefer a thick cell activate, thicker cell activator anyways. So we'll see if that was a good move or not. Are you ready? Mixy mix, okay. It's better, it kind of stands up and says hello, you know? Okay, here we go. Wait, is there a bloop in there? We don't want any bloops. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, we're gonna wait. Okay, cool. Definitely cool colors happening. Um, it's such a different look when you use a hair dryer. Like, obviously, if it were with my mouth, this wouldn't have been so. I would have been able to control it better. Maybe I'm out of practice. While it's doing its thing, I will fix. Colors are really cool and I'm glad I did the purple because no matter what, it looks cool. Just breaking up those edges a little bit, making them more floaty. Okay, so. Let us wait some more. It's gonna take a bit of time because that's a big piece. You know what? I'm gonna have to take my skewer because this cell right here, the cells that take longer to form get really big and I don't like big cells personally. So I'm gonna just do a little, especially because I really blew down, probably too much into the middle. So I'm gonna kind of try to fix what I did there, you know? Okay. Okay. A little bit more. Yeah. Just breaking up that white, even though it's gonna kind of move around, but still. Okay. Cool. So I'm gonna start spinning. It's not, the middle's not gonna move much. So 
The colors are really cool though. Okay, ready? Okay. Really, really pretty colors. Move this down. Okay. Okay. Definitely gonna be full coverage. I really like the flowy look that a hair dryer gives, like more Dutch pory look, like where there's no cell activator. I think it's really cool. Now. This looks different, obviously, than the original, um, which I said, you know, when you go bigger, it's not gonna be as impactful. Um, really pretty sparkles, but I think it's really cool. Um, I'm glad I used the hair dryer for a different look. I don't necessarily love on a bigger piece if it's all covered in cells, um, just be, or lacing, just because there's like nowhere for the eye to rest. I'm just popping a buble. So I kind of like, I hope she likes it. Um, I kind of like the different spaces of lacing and non-lacing. Let's see how much more I have to spin. I'm gonna just tilt. We're pretty good, actually. I'm gonna do one more little spin. The sparkle, I love the twinkle. Uh, with these purples. So, let me rethink. Um, you know, just a little plain old situation here. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Okay guys, we're back. There is a problem. I made a boo-boo and I don't know why I did this, but I used white cell activator in the one I just did instead of Payne's gray cell activator, which is what's the on the original piece. Now, the reason it makes a difference is because she really wanted popping cells rather than lacing. So the look that turned out, especially because it's a 14 incher, um, is very different. Now I told her, even though there's a lot of popping cells on the eight incher, it's gonna look different on a 14 incher. But I just wanna show you, I love how the other one dried and it'll be cool for you guys to see the difference. Hold on. So. When I resin this, oh my God, I don't know if you guys will be able to see what's happening here, but the sparkle is gonna be insane, but I can see, and also that twinkle, but I can see why it's a big difference. So, I've also changed a few things around to really ensure popping cells. Um, first of all, this is my Glidden Essentials eggshell. I'm using my white. I went out and got it and I let it sit. This is about day two. Um, to thicken because thicker pillow paint will give you better cell structure. I'm eliminating two piggies. I'm only going to keep the twinkle, which will also help the cell structure. And I'm going to blow with my mouth um, so it won't be overblown. And I've decided I'm going to darken up this purple to make it really smoky. So what I'm doing is I'm I'm just adding some golden bone black to it. I'm just gonna make it like a little darker and deeper. Give it some, you know, some pizzazz. So all those things will hopefully, isn't that pretty? I like that much better. Will hopefully make for more popping cells. Okay, so let's 
get to work. Okay. I hope this is thick enough. Okay. Mm. Let's see. This is enough. Just gonna stretch her out. I might put a little bit more in the middle, but I just wanna go like this. So normally, by the way, especially on bigger pieces, um, I make sure my clients choose exactly the colors <clears throat> that they want beforehand and the exact shapes that they want beforehand. Um, and I send them the picture of the paints mixed up to make sure. And once it's done, um, I let them know it's never gonna look exactly the same as what's in their head and there's no redos. But this one, yeah, I'm gonna put somewhere in the middle. This one was my boo-boo, but I do like, you know, I feel bad if it's still wet and I send them the picture, final picture and they don't like it, I would redo it. Cause like who want, I don't want to force people to have art. Normally I actually, I don't, I've never had a problem. Normally um, people like what I do um, on bigger pieces and they're like, love it, perfect. So, but I do let people know beforehand that you know, once it's spun out, there's not much you can do for it. Okay, we're ready. So, and we want full coverage paint, okay? So I'm gonna lay down a lot of color to make sure, you know, that there's lots of coverage. All right, so that was the yellow. Here's the magenta. Here is the teal. By the way, I changed teals. This is Matisse teal. It's a much, it's quite deep. It's a nice blue color. Okay. Then we'll do the smoky perps. Love this color, twinkle. Okay, then finally, phthalo turks. Okay, so let's hope I can blow it out properly and not make another boo boo. I hope you guys can see the colors in this light. I switched back my spinning situation. Sorry if you hear sneakers, he's protecting <laughs> the house from the mailman. Okay, ready? Okay, cool, much better. Okay, I like the richness of the color. I can see it's much deeper. The cells look really cool. Sneakers is really annoying me, to be honest. Hey, sneakers, come here, honey. I love you. You're such a good boy. I'm only doing that because in real life I'd be yelling at him, but I don't want you to think I'm a horrible dog owner. Which, by the way, I'm not. Okay. This part bothers me, so I like here. I like here. Really cool section, so let's hope it spins out nicely. But this is just like, well, why don't I... Just like breaking it up a bit, which didn't really do much. Oh gosh. Okay. Cool. 
Yeah, I feel like, we'll see how it spins out, but I feel like she'll be much happier with this one because it looks, even though it's twice the size, the idea looks more similar, right? Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna spin slow. Can't complain. Sneakers can't complain. Okay, so let's hope we're gonna get nice full coverage without too much stretching Ug uglily. <laughs> In there. Hey Sneaks, what you doing? Who's my good boy? It's like, why is mommy being so nice to me? Okay, get in there. This I'm happy with. I'm just gonna get this bottom part off a little bit. Right? Yes, it looks quite similar. The cells are holding together. You know, it's not easy to do a 14 inch or full coverage with popping cells. Well, how do you know? Everything's gotta be really on point, but the colors are really cool. Just that one little white piece, let me get off if I can. If not, I'm not gonna cry about it. But I think she will be much happier. Very different vibe than the first one, but I gotta say, the first one is also gonna look nice. Um, but just very different vibe. So you can kind of see what happens when you have thicker base paints and um, different color cell activators, you know. So here she is. Thanks for sticking around. Let me know what vibe do you like more? light cell activator dark cell activator etc etc okay oh i'll bring you to the light so you can see the uh twinkle do its thing i love you guys Bye bye